free Black Series Force FX lightsaber giveaway in this video. Just hit like and comment below which one you want. Contest closes next week. Second place will receive a free hat from the store, launching soon. We would be honored if you would join us. In today's episode, we're going to cover the first few pages of the first issue of the brand new Darth Vader comic by Marvel. The events pick up literally one second after the end of Revenge of the Sith scene, where Anakin is now in the suit as he breaks free of his constraints and screams in pain at Padme's death. Now, before we continue, I just want to mention, in the Legends book, Revenge of the Sith novelization, and The Dark Lord Rises, which Disney has clearly taken from, Vader actually reaches out with the Force to choke Palpatine, but then realizes that he's not as powerful as he used to be, and the fact that his master is literally all that he has left is what makes him refrain. However, in this new canon comic, they just went that one step further. No! You told me you could save her. In your rage, you chose a different path. As Vader continues to accept the realization that Padme is now dead, Palpatine tells him that she's gone and that the dark side can't bring her back. However, in her death, she gave him a gift. As our attention drapes over the scene, we come to Vader's left hand as he shapes his fingers into a pincer like he always does when he's about to force choke someone. However, it has no effect on his master, as he is far too strong in the Force. Now you must choose. Will you accept that gift? Will you use it? Or will you die? As Vader bows lower before his master, submitting to him and accepting his fate obediently, Palpatine suddenly fires Force Lightning at him, unleashing the full power of the dark side upon his apprentice. Now, he does this for two reasons. The first being to show him how vulnerable his suit is towards lightning, to make sure that he won't try anything funny again. And two, is because he wants Vader to fight back. He wants to see what he's really made of after this whole transformation. Also, the fact that Sidious does this literally as Vader gets off the table after Mustafar's events is absolutely ridiculous. We now get a glimpse of just how evil and torturous he was towards Darth Maul. As Sidious asks his apprentice to use the power of his lightsaber to defend himself, Vader says, Lost in the fight with only one speed it. As Palpatine yells in defiance of his failure, he calms down, telling Vader that the blade belonged to another, a Jedi, meaning his former self, Anakin Skywalker. As he draws his lightsaber from his sleeve, he tells Vader that he is now a Sith. Recognizing the traumatic day that he's had, which is an understatement, he threatens to finish what Obi-Wan couldn't if he ever touched him with the Force again. As Vader rises from the smoke of his armor, Palpatine senses his quest for Jedi blood, telling him to sheathe it for now, as the Galactic Empire has much larger matters that require his full attention, leading him to the streets of Coruscant. Never again will we fear the Jedi. Through the grace of our Emperor Palpatine, we were saved from that treachery. That leads us in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory, where we'll pick up right from here in full explanation and detail along the way of bringing the comic to life. The second issue of this comic comes out in a few weeks, at the end of June. However, I want to keep covering this issue, which goes over the leading events of how Vader will get his lightsaber in the second issue, and through it, analyzing every bit of important detail. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did and you'd like to see the continuation, let me know by commenting or hitting like, and I'll get right on that for you. I hope you guys enjoy this in your free time, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Full